When working with the Excel tables, columns will automatically fill down when you create a new formula in a column in the table or a column next to the table. This is called a calculated column. There is no need to use the fill or copy commands. This can be incredibly time saving, especially if you have a lot of rows. Begin by selecting a cell inside the column you want to add your formulas. It doesn't matter which row you click on if it is not in the header row. Type the formula that you want to use and press enter. For example, let us enter equal to sum and select quarter one and quarter two columns. Instead of using the cell reference B5 and C5, Excel built the formula using column names quarter one and quarter two. This is called a structured reference formula, which is unique to Excel tables. The structured reference format is what allows the table to use the same formula for each row. When you press enter, the formula is automatically filled into all cells of the column above as well as below the cell where you entered the formula. The formula is the same for each row, but since it's a structured reference, Excel knows internally which row is which. Excel will automatically match the formatting, aggregate calculations, etc. You do not need to adjust your table if the new column is adjacent to the table. Excel will expand the table automatically. Enter your formula and press enter to populate the entire column with your formula. Excel will add a new column and give it a generic name column one. Click on the header cell and type in the header name you want. Changing a formula will also expand to the rest of the rows of the calculated column. You can see the change is reflected in all other rows too. Copying a formula into cells of a blank table column also creates a calculated column. Let us copy the formula in H2 to the column total. You can see all rows in column total has the same formula. If you type or move a formula in a table column that already contains data, a calculated column is not automatically created. However, the autocorrect options button is displayed to provide you with the option to overwrite the data so that a calculated column can be created. Excel displays message, there is already data here. Do you want to replace it? Click on OK. Click on Autocorrect Options button. Click on Overwrite all cells in this column with this formula. You can see all rows have same formula now. If you input a new formula that is different from existing formulas in a calculated column, the column will automatically update with the new formula. You can choose to undo the update and only keep the single new formula from the autocorrect options button.
Click on Auto Correct Options button. Click on Undo Calculated column. You can see only the changed row is affected and rest of rows use old formula. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.